What's up guys, it's me Chris. Today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys my fidget spinner. And if you guys are wondering how did I got this, my uncle bought it for me. He got it from the Philippines. And uh, my uncle told me that this one costs like 300 pesos. And you know, like, the good thing is like, when you spin it, you can actually like turn it on. Lights. Okay, it's kind of hard to do it with uh, one arm. Let's see. There you go. See? <laughs> I don't know. I hope they're not going to take it away if I'm going to use that at school. A lot of people are using that at school, you know? And then, like, most teachers are saying, put it away. Because, you know, it's actually distracting for other teachers, though. It depends, like, if teachers are annoyed or something. I don't know. But at my school, like, some teachers are annoyed. Like, they get distracted. So, yeah. <laughs> I see Mike, one, uh, some one dude, uh, he bought like two and then uh, sp start spinning it. A lot of people started to buy it, you know, like the uh, fidget spinner. And it's kind of fun to play, you know? Look at this. <laughs> really fun to play. And, you know, I don't know if they have this at the USA. But yeah, just letting you know, uh, my dad, <clears throat> I mean, my uncle got this at the Philippines. See? Perfect. So what happens if you use this one. But if you're like, if you're gonna use this, see what happens if you use the second. And yeah, you guys may know the third one. See? Yeah. And yeah, it turns to this one. Uh, I'm getting addicted. Like I got, I don't know. It feels like I'm hypnotized when I look at it. <laughs> I'm also talking for uh, like a little bit. <laughs> I think I was hypnotized. I don't know. I'm guessing. All right, perfect. Wow, look at that. <laughs> so nice. And you know, it's not even heavy at all. It's so light. It's not made out of metal. I don't know if inside is made out of metal, but it's like made out of plastic. <laughs> I mean, like, it's kind of cool though, like, the, the light though. What happens if you do th this? Yeah, I, I don't want to do it. I don't want to take chances. And you know, like, I don't know if these are breakable or I'm not sure. I don't want to take chances because I don't know where to find these. These fidget spinners at the USA. My uncle got this at the Philippines. I know I said it, but I'll say it again. Yeah, I gotta keep this safe. See, yep, it's my fidget spinner, guys. My uncle got it from the Philippines. And yeah, also, like, uh, I didn't got the soda. My uncle told me they don't have blue shock, no pitch black, no live wire. They don't have it. And, you know, like, my uncle said that, or my mom told me, like, that you're not allowed to bring soda from the Philippines to... Uh, USA. Well, like, because, you know, like, I think the flight from Washington to, uh, Philippines, like, well, like, it's not like that, you know, like, you cannot fly to the Philippines right away. You either have to fly at, uh, South Korea or, uh, Japan. I mean, I'm gonna go visit there, like, after I graduate high school. <laughs> Two more years to go. Once I graduate senior, I'm gonna go, uh, go to the Philippines. Oh, man, I think I'm gonna get somber big time. I have a sunburn in my ear, but I don't want to show it. I feel kind of embarrassed. Yeah, people are doing fireworks. You know, like, if you do fireworks at my area, it's banned. It's going to cost $200. It costs, like, uh, 200 fine. I mean, like, okay, I don't know why I say opposite, opposite way. <clears throat> I don't know why I say opposite way. I mean, you know, the fine costs, like, $200. That's you know, expensive. It's like started to be like new laws these days, you know. And my hometown, we started banning fireworks now. So yeah, guys, this is my fidget spinner. Peace out.